Hey guys, Andy here. Um, I've been doing quite a few app reviews recently because I've been kind of searching, mainly watching other people's YouTube videos where they say what the best Android apps are and then I'm picking out what I think are the sort of the very best or the, just the really useful ones um, to show you guys. And you may have seen a week or two back I did um, Navigation Gestures it was called and it was in discussion of that app actually where someone said, oh, but have you seen Edge Gestures? Oh, no, I haven't. And I've gone out look. And what I'll do, we'll start off, and I'll just give you kind of a demo of what it can do. So we open up the browser, go to everyone's favorite website, and we go to whatever, support. And you go, oh, I want to go back. I just swipe in from the side. And then you think, actually, I want to go back to a different app I was using. I want to go back to the Play Store. There we go. Oh, no, I don't. I want to check the weather. I think, actually, no, let's go back. No, no, let's go back again. Actually, let's go to the, the home screen. So basically, it is it is gesture controls again. Let's go into the app itself, and I'm gonna start off actually on the common tab along the top, where you get to sort of define what the, what the edges um, look like and where they are. So you get to how long they are. For me, I'm trying to kind of keep them out of the way of other apps that, are, that use the edges so I mean I do have the the side the edge controls from Samsung so in some ways I shouldn't even bother having it that far up but then I use the top bit for um, my podcast player so I don't want anything in that bit and then maybe I should just move that somewhere else anyway um, timeouts for the hold and, and so you get haptic feedback um, blah, 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 blah. oh four switch apps I had to take that on so swiping in from the side switches to the last app it didn't work until I ticked that. And at the very bottom, I quite like you can back up and you can restore your settings. So when you've taken time to set them all up as you wish. And then you can see as we swipe back, we've got left edge, right edge, and bottom edge. Where you can you can sort of enable and disable. So if we want to get rid of the left edge total, we just turn it off. You can set them for working on different orientations. And now we're into the bit where we de we're defining what actually happens. So if I long press it, we get the power dialog. Um, if I double tap it, I disable it for five seconds. Well, hopefully we see it come back. There we go. Which could be handy because there will be times that actually you might be thinking, oh, this bloody, these edge gestures are getting in my way. And you can just double tap to disable. I think I've got them set to double tap, yeah, on each one of them. So it doesn't matter which side you tap on, we'll do the same thing. So as you can see, that's the main one for me. Swipe to the right, switch to the previous app. So you can do other things like swiping down to get your notification bar and stuff like that. Um, I do quite like swipe right and hold. It's not hold, sorry. Swipe right up and down. Where it is? Down, okay. Swipe. Oh, that's all right. Sorry, pull and slide, sorry. So you come out, and then we're going up and down, and we're changing the brightness. And that's really cool. Um, what have I got? Oh, this one's volume, I think. There you go. Really cool. Uh, there is an enable pie control. You see those three dots just there? And then you can set them up to be, honestly I don't actually use that, so, but you can change the pie size, the position, like so. Um, again, yeah, it's not something that I use. I'm gonna turn that back off, hopefully, there we go. And again, to be honest, I've not changed the location overriding, so we won't. I won't sort of try and explain what that is at this point because I haven't really used it. Um, it's kind of as simple as that. So each edge you get to set. So you can be as complex and as as like as you like. So swipe left and hold, for example, from the side is going to bring the camera in. Now let's see if I do. Yeah. So some apps I've found it seems to, and I've probably need to learn better how to use it, but. It seems to not work so well with certain apps on camera was one of them. If I try and go back, it didn't always work. But as you saw there, I could swipe home because that's the bottom edge. Swipe up is going home. Up and hold is recent apps. Um, so if I can even have the pie controls at the bottom look. So really cool. Now, one thing you might be wondering is, well, hang on, I've not got any navigation buttons at all. That is not part of Edge Gestures. Uh, I did ask the developer about this, and he, I think basically he'd prefer not to include it because it could get a little messy, basically. It is a bit of sort of ADB and all that kind of thing. If you don't know what that is, that kind of is partly why he's not including it, because it's a little bit sort of 
hacking into your phone not hacking into the phone but um, you do need to connect it up to a computer and run certain commands through a shell prompt which will go over some people's heads and put some people off and I think you would rather not just kind of get that complexity in there if you want to know more about it go and find my navigation gestures if I'll try to throw it up at the top there because I think I explained a little bit there about how you how you remove the, the actual navigation buttons down the bottom so there we go that's edge gestures um, a really cool app it is a paid app one pound 20 something at the time that I recorded this but I th personally think it's really worth it so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but for now my name's Andy and I'll catch you all again soon well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there um, also come and have a look at my website androidandy.uk um, there is also a forum come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or request me to review things or anything else just come and have a chat on the forum